So, hey, what's up, you guys? This is Symbio with T3 Gaming, and I'm here at DJ's Collectible Shop in Hanford, California. We just finished the 2017 California State Championship, and uh, this is Diego Bermudez. How's it going? And uh, he got second place. Why don't you tell, uh, congratulations first Thank off. You. That Thank was a very hard-earned 38-player tournament. A lot of cool teams out there. Um, tell us a little, real quick, what you played. I played a pass theme team. Um, I had I was running Jean Grey, Fast Force 50, 50 points, uh, Nick Fury, and Zatara. So that itself is 270, leaves me with 30 points left over. Originally, I was playing a Just League Teleporter, but I forgot it this morning. Like, I had the card and everything oh, and all man. the pieces. So I had to change it up last last minute. Wow. And um, so Way to roll I, with it. I was, I was only able to have, like, three IDs. So I was like, I'm going to put in... Um, I'm just going to put in the best three IDs possible. And I was like, I need Cosmic Spidey because that's the thing about Fury is... He ignores everything except blocking. So Cosmic there is just a handles the blocking to, to lead away. So after that, um, Leatherwing because he shares pass keyword. His stats aren't bad. That's what I was wondering about. So you play Leatherwing because that way you can get the double perplex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> There's bread. So, um, I mean, for the most part, it's not a bad idea because he, he has sidestep and leaping climb. That's really when cool. he does the leaping climb at uh, at his half a speed value or less, he gets to do a free range attack. So. Oh wow. I mean, it's not bad regardless, but I would rather just sidestep range combat expert. Plus a t two to attack from Zatar and then plus two damage, 13-5. Wow, it's that's that's pretty really obvious. Good. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, oh, I you know that's cool. Uh, did you did you work on uh, this? Oh team? my bad, and uh, Superman, um, the oh yeah, and the Muhammad Ali one. Oh uh, yeah, tell me what he, tell me what he does. So he has sidestep, earthbound, neutralize. Except he has 11 attack precision with three damage, battle fury. So super sense, shape change. Out of there. Nice and 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 uh, he makes two attacks, right? He, he makes flurry. two attack, yeah. And I mean, he actually was doing a lot. Him and Henry. Oh, that's right. So he played Henry too. Four, four damage. Nice. Oh man. So tell me, uh, like, what what do you think was the most challenging game today? Um, Colossal. Uh, almost it. anything with uh, Colossal Retaliators. Just having to deal with the retaliation. Yeah, because it's just like they would just like my my team can take a small hit, but at the same time, I don't have any healers really. So once you get knocked down, two even. Yeah, so it's like that's why I would bring out the ID, try to kill a retaliator. If not, hit someone else, and then they leave, so they, there's no one to retaliate to. Right. Yeah. So what do you think about the new, like, uh, I guess, I mean, do you keep up with the competitive scene yeah, much? Yeah, or? Uh, for the most part, yeah, okay. I, I do my best. And where are you from? From Manteca. Oh, okay. So, and yeah. you guys have like a regular... Uh, we kind of mix, group? it's like a little bit of uh, Modesto, Manteca. Like Wes and those Wes, guys. Wes, Gilbert, Eric. Cool. Ben. Right on. And uh, what are you looking forward to playing like in the future? Are you like what what set are you mostly looking forward to next? Oh man, what are uh, Thor sets coming out next? Yep. Uh, Harley, Undead. Uh, Undead. Undead sounds fun. I mean, yeah, I, have, I haven't really strayed like the Ninja Turtles and Yu-Gi-Oh have some cool clicks, but there's really not much I wanted. Right. But I mean, I'm a big horror fan, so like Undead, and they have their own keywords. Zombie Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. They, <laughs> no, but I, I really like that they have their own keywords. Like Skeleton is different from a zombie. Yes, that's cool. They have Undead Army, and uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm probably that's it. Probably that's. I want to let everybody know Diego is always coming up with really cool, interesting teams. He usually yeah, never I mean, plays like, like oh. what everybody else is playing, and not that that's not bad, no, fine, but it's always interesting to see somebody. Just, just, just like a new twist. Like I know, I know you guys are very intrigued in my Lex and Joker. Yeah, yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. He did really well with that. The Wiz gets open. Yeah. Um, so like, yeah, what is your thought process usually going into a team? Do you usually specifically say? Um, well, my, I mean, everyone has play, different play styles. Yeah. Some, some so people what's your like, play style? Uh, I try to I, Alpha Strike for the most part. Alpha Strike and dish out mad damage. Just go in, hit him hard. Hit I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to play to try to just get some points and then win. I'm trying to take out your whole team. So you never play that don't die tech? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't turtle. I don't turtle. Yeah. If I, I have, noticed that. I don't you will still keep playing even though you're winning. You're yeah. like, I don't care. I'm going to go get more points. Yeah, so some, cool. I, if, if I can, if possible. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you so right. much. Thank I, you for having me. Yeah, uh, one last question. Uh, what do you? What would you say to like new people who want to try to get into HeroClix as uh, a competitive? Um, like, what would your advice be to those guys? Just to get better. Don't use, don't, don't combine logic with the rules. <laughs> don't combine logic with the rules. Some things don't make sense, but those are unfortunately the rules. Uh -huh. You good just advice. have to 
The rules are going to switch up, unfortunately. So just try to get used to all the changes. Just try to keep you keep up with it, right? Try to keep up with it. Yeah. Right on. Cool. Right. Well, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. It was Thank great you to have me. you. Hope you uh, come back to the next tournament. Oh, we'll I'll do, do my well best. Again. I'll do my best. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks you guys. Thank you. Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Simio again with T3 Gaming, and we're here at the ROC State Championships with uh, the champion Patrick Yapoko. Hello, everyone. Congratulations, first off, Thanks. man. Thanks, man. Really hard earned win. A lot of great Dude, teams out there. Tough today. Uh, what do we have? 38? 35. Oh, 35. 35, yeah. Okay. Well, I, 35 think it's the highest, I think it's the highest for states so far. Right time. on. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. And uh, first off, I mean, you know, everybody knows Pat, so we don't need to go into all that. Uh, but, but I did want to hear a little bit about your take on, like, really quick what you played and then, like, kind of your thought process into why you, you felt like you were really good at it and or how, why you felt like it was going to take you. You already won yeah. our, uh, Arizona, so. Uh, <clears throat> well, I wanted to play something else in Arizona, but we, A, we forgot a, a piece for, for like a Justice League team, so I just had to go with that, and also because my friend wanted to play something else, like who wanted to play that, so like, okay. Um, but then I knew that I had to play something that was not only competitive that, that can win, because here in California, especially here, there's like top players like you, yeah, and, right. Like all these guys, like top, top guys. You know, I mean, like you and Alan, both like top eight or top sixteen worlds, right? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's that's pretty good. Um, yeah, a lot of good players yeah. around here. And then, um, but it's 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 a Justice Society team, but it's Jakeem, two Adam or two uh, Green Lanterns and an Adam, with a boxing ring, uh, Eclipso, Supreme Intelligence, four ID cards. It's, it's kind of basic, but. Both the ID uh, I, cards? I, yeah, I, it's um, Shield Level 7, Spider-Man, Hawkman, and Green Arrow. Uh, and I have three different things for the Shield Level 7, depending what I go up against. It's uh, Hawkeye, Hulk, or Nick, and then the Spider-Man is Superior or Cosmic. Um, but I opted to go for the theme team version of like the Jakeen teams instead of like Goblin King stuff because A, I wanted the map. That's the yeah, there were thing. three yeah. theme teams in the top yeah, four. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I wanted huge. the map because wow. I have double barrier. So if I need to go up against, uh, if I need to block off like shredders or overdrive or something, I just pick the rock uh, blue line and then just bury, it's hard to get in. Yeah, I felt uh, the yeah, blunt yeah, of that. Yeah, that, was, exactly. that was pretty brutal. <laughs> Good stuff. But, if, if, uh, but for the most part, it's so that I can set up on turn one where I pick Earthbound Neutralize so that on turn two, Shaquem can sidestep Colin and whatever, hit whatever. Um, and I have protection because I'm in the ring and I have the two walls that are going to come up. So if Spider they want to call Spider-Man shoot, he's going to be like he's, he's gonna be like a 9 on a 21 right. because I have deflection and they can't see. Well, you had such um, high attacks. Yeah. So just even got high defense is really defenses, hard. Yeah. yeah. So even if you were to come in and hit, you still got to hit 19s or 20s. Mm -hmm. And I have, and the most important thing is I have theme teams. So right. uh, there's numerous times, I think even in this, in the finals, I theme teamed them into a miss. Almost every game yeah. where I got to use theme team, it turned into a miss. So that yeah. tells you guys, I mean, theme teams, people sometimes say, oh, it's going to hurt you. But Right now, it seems like getting map choice, having probs, getting yeah. a theme team, a lot of yeah, synergy. synergy. Because the, the simpler time trait was Oh, humongous. that thing is awesome. Oh yeah. my god, like, like every time, it's like, yeah. it's a 19 or a 20 or a 21. Like the whole game. No. Yeah. So you have the single target pulse, but it's hard because of the walls and I just kind of group them together. Right. So, so yeah, well, tell us a little bit about what you think of the new rules. Um, you know, not over overly, but just like, how do you, how, do you think it'll be much harder to play your team with the new rules? Oh, absolutely, yes, because the thing that keeps Jakeem alive is, and this is what always prevents people from attacking him, is like, you have invincible shape change. Then that just prevents someone from hitting it with a heavy object or exploiting or something like that. But if you can outwit it, then it's like, okay, well, okay, I gotta hit 18, but if I hit you, I'm gonna hit for four or five or whatever. So, I think that's gonna make it because he's way too efficient. So now with the with the, the new rules, as long as you can see him, you know, most for the most part, I think he'll probably be in stealth. Yeah, in order to protect so, himself. So as long as you have someone that can, like Nick Fury says, you know, I'll, I'll Walter's out your stealth, and now you have like a couple outwitters and boom, boom, then you can get hit. I think that's not. I don't think that's hard to do. Do you think he'll still be valid? I, I think he'll still. still I think he'll now be. Balanced because okay. also on the other side, if they don't have a way to deal with his stealth, then he'll have 
invincible shape change. He'll then, still have then, all then he'll this find. stuff, yeah. But at least now there's a way out. You know, something like Nick and General Lane. Nick and General Lane, that's, that's, he's probably dead. Yeah. General yeah. Lane, and then, yeah, and then everyone Lane else sees, gonna, and then boom, 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 yeah, just out with everything. It, yeah, so gonna make it very, very powerful. I think that'll be cool. So what's your favorite thing about the new rules? Do you uh, like them I think, overall? You know, from what I've seen, I think the templating is much better because from what, you know, from what they've shown us, all the templating is consistent so that you can just look it up and think, okay, what's worded like that means like this, instead of, uh, you know, for example, we saw the Dormammu today. Oh. You retaliate within two squares. This long paragraph. Yes, right. And then yeah. the Adam says two squares of the target. So you have to constantly read. I think they're going to simplify that where it's all going to be worded the same. So there's no questions. Yeah, let's um, hope so. Yeah, I, I, I know. That's what I hope. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, they, they've put a lot of time into looking at the rules and overhauling it. And I think it's going to be better for the game. Cool. So. Right on. Well, I'm really glad that, you know, hearing from you because you've been playing for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You're still looking forward to new rules, yes, changes, yes. and stuff Especially like that. Especially the things that get too complicated now with, like, all the free action, beginning of turn stuff. Mm -hmm. All that's going to be, you know, it's going to be less, which also means it's going to be less uh, complicated for people to figure out, did you... Wait, did, is, are we still in the beginning of the turn or not? Right. Like, yeah, just having that things. action phase is going to be huge. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. more free action TK Collins or, yes. you know. Yeah, so, like that. so I think that's you cool. Know. I, you yeah. know, um, I, I hope that uh, they still allow a little bit of combos here and there. Yeah, because you know? combos are important for any competitive yes, game. Yes, exactly. Cause it then, allows you to... Yes, and you reward the players who fought it through yeah, and instead of it all being players. the same. So Yeah, yeah you don't want to just so. be totally random, I'm going to attack mm -hmm. you and, you know. So one quick question is, what's your, do you have a, a picked character in the current like meta that you think is undervalued or like a sleeper that people should maybe check out? Po the post, the post rules? The current, uh, sure, yeah, post rules. Post because that's new, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, General Lane. General Lane. He's going to be big. Uh, because the new leadership oh, gives yeah. him uh, the plus one already. 200 and under or whatever. Yeah, so, but he already gets the automatic <laughs> plus fair. one to your action. Tool. Right, so you have four but actions. Then, but then if you roll that, he counts as 300, he gets to take it off of a soldier. Wow, yeah. So that's the, and then he has enhancement, and he gives out wit, and he has sidestep. And he has PD. And he's like 40 points. 40 points, so you can, you know, with the rules where uh, outwit is huge, your whole team gets outwit. That's a good you can, you can even have like a call, you know, you can even have like a... Uh, penguin calling in the penguin, you know, like a penguin pog, pog and now they and give two more. That's two more outlets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, right? <laughs> along the line of that, you've been playing long enough where have outwit at some points has been almost overpowered. Yeah. Do you think once outwit is going to be this powerful, it's going to be um, frustrating sometimes to play the game? Or? You know what? It depends on. Well, for 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 one, we can't do. We can't uh, turn. We can't counter. Um, Combat right, abilities. So, and combat abilities. Oh, so, at all, right, right? right? It's only power. So you can't do, can't, yeah. can't so outwit improve movement. That already is, uh, that, you know, that's so true. that's down. But if they can just have more things that say protection outwit, so and that becomes a common thing, down. then it'll be balanced. But if, if if not, then then yeah, things like that are good. But I, I think they should they should be aware of it'll, that. It'll be a little much like lockdown, too much lockdown. Yes, it'll just be yeah, right. like you just can't play anymore because everyone's not with everything. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, yeah. All right, well, lastly, uh, uh, what would you say to like uh, competitive players who are just getting going and want to want to get really good, get into this game? Like, what what would you be your advice to them? Like, if you can play at any rock, win a map, uh, qualifier stage, any anything you can go. To just to get your feet wet, uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It you is a lot, of, a lot fun. of people, a lot of like-minded people, yeah. and uh, it's you just learn a lot. That's you know that's what I've always you learn so a lot just from go other out people. To yeah, just go into tournaments. Don't I mean, feel like yeah, don't, nope, not like even it. close. Yeah, um, it's that's the only way you'll you'll just get out there. You know, even if you go one and three or whatever, but if you learn. Then, you know. Then yeah, you learn from your losses. I mean, I. You and then you get better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm a good example. I used to, you know, I would yeah. play tournaments and lose all the time, but. Now you're so, so you, just, you just get better every yeah. time you lose, you learn things. Yeah. So that's of great course. advice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Steve. You're such an awesome ambassador for this Thanks. game. Likewise. Uh, thank you for everything you do, the ROC, Majestic. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, do you want to tell everybody about your ROC oh, yeah. tournament? Oh, yeah. So real quick? we have the U.S. Cup, the Rock U.S. Cup is going to be in Orange, California, 10 minutes from Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, Labor Day weekend, September 2nd and 3rd. Uh, the format is Rock Age. There's there's a ban list that we have 
But other than that, if it's not on that list and it falls in Rock Age, it's legal. Which is like Superman. Super, so it's up. anything with the Aria base, including indie. So you could play Yu-Gi-Oh, you could play Lord of the Rings. So it's 300 points. So we just expanded it to a larger uh, pool because people were getting kind of a little, you know, the format was getting a little stale. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think, you know, even the co-main event here is uh, very populated, 12 people. A lot of yeah. different teams. Yeah, we have almost 30 people signed up for the event and we have, we're a month out. So I, I think it'll be a good showing. People have been asking, um, can we do this? I'm like, yeah, it's all, and they're all excited because there's a lot of combos now. Yeah. And it will be old rules. Because okay. Because the Thor set releases, I think, two days before the event. Okay. Two or three days before like event. End so, of August, yeah, right? But we will have Thor as prizing. Oh, wow. So it'll be perfect. And yeah. Battle Royals. Yeah, you guys, Thor prizing. That's Thor, that yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, all right. Well, thank you very much again. Appreciate well, it. Congratulations, thanks. state champion. And uh, we'll see you guys next time in T3 Gaming. See you guys.